now, live from Haiti, today's update, brought to you by Purpose Youth Ministries. We had a lot of fun on this trip. Of course, most of it was very serious, but we had some very, very funny moments. A couple of ones that I remember, the interpreters, uh, as they're interpreting. And there was one point in particular when uh, Brother Ron Maggard was preaching at Pastor Jack's church, when Brother Ron and I are out there in Anthony Bethany. And he preached how we need to have reverentia, reverence in the church. And the interpreter, Pastor Jack, had translated as, we need to have revolution in the church. <laughs> One funny thing that happened this week was when we were giving stickers to these um, boys, they were just like neighbors of the church and they were over and we were talking with them, playing with them, so we gave them some stickers and then they were playing soccer and um, we're standing in front of Pastor Ricardo's car and he's kind of strict but he's like really nice and everything and we turned around and the side of his car was full of stickers. They peeled all the stickers off their shirts, like they each probably had like at least 20 and they were all over the door so we were like me and Jordan quickly were scraping them off before Pastor Ricardo came out so we wouldn't get mad but then it turns out after they're finished playing soccer they went to go back to look for their stickers they were just playing there for safekeeping and we felt really bad because we like threw away their stickers it was sad <laughs> um, one of the funny things is, is that our, our translator was very very strict uh, Blaine was telling jokes repeatedly and every single one of them bombed. After after the first two bombed, I thought he'd quit, but he was just persistent, continue, bomb, bomb, bomb. I told a couple things and uh, Pastor Ricardo would just say them in a monotone voice and just nothing worked. So it was, it was like listening to crickets after you tell a joke. <laughs> So I have two quick stories here about Greg, since Greg's funny stories were about me. Uh, first is our experience, we were here like two days and we had to go to the grocery store to get water. And we go to this grocery store and there was a young boy outside begging and he saw us go in and as soon as he saw us come back out, he started following us. But he didn't follow any uh, anyone else other than Greg. And he just followed him the whole time and said, Hefe! Hefe! And, he, and we stood outside the car waiting for Pastor Ricardo to unlock it and he squatted down next to him and said, Hefe! Hefe! And all Greg had to say was, don't touch my iPad. <laughs> um, so, another funny story is during our training session, um, I was talking to the girls about modesty and all of a sudden Pastor Ricardo got really into it and he, point, he goes over to this one girl and he's like, stand up and so she's standing up and he's you know going getting really intense I'm like I don't know what's happening and then he turns around he's like her skirt is too short and I was just like oh and so I didn't know what to do so bad and he was just like yeah yeah and then the girl just sat back down and it was really awkward <laughs> and uh, there was another time you have to be very careful about idioms and uh, figures of speech and I thought I used a pretty safe one I'm feeling like a fish out of water it's kind of self-explanatory, right? No, it came out saying, I felt like a fish. Okay, so another funny story this week is my dad tried to sell me off to a bunch of different boys. Um, apparently none of them had enough goats or cows, so, so far I'm still single, but we're still here for a couple hours. So I may not come back to the U.S., we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Number two was uh, earlier that week I had been te uh, uh, I've been talking about David and Goliath and they didn't understand what I meant by giants and one of the teachers had said Hilk and and I said what's the Hilk and Pastor Ricardo said like the Hulk and so we started e explaining Goliath like the Hulk well later on that week Greg was talking uh, about uh, David and Goliath and he was referring to the message I preached and he said like the Hulk Urgh. and so Pastor Ricardo said like the Hulk and he said you didn't say Urgh. and so Pastor Ricardo went <laughs> right, in one situation uh, where there was a joke that bombed I knew it was going to bomb but I was just having fun preaching so I thought I would tell it anyways I was talking about David and Goliath and so I was talking about how David was not afraid of Goliath and so I gave the example how David was like bring it on string bean Bring it on, Just drink me. And that's what Basil would probably do. 
All right, so uh, since we're talking about funny stories, while we're out here in Haiti, one of the pastors uh, comes up to us, him and his wife, and he says, how long have you guys been married? And we tell him three years, and he's shocked, shocked look on his face. And he goes, oh, uh, any babies? And we said, no, an even more shocked look on his face. And he goes, oh, no, no babies, okay, okay. Uh, we'll pray for you. So uh, comes back a couple days later, and he says, I want to talk to you and your wife. Come with me. He takes us into a back room, and he said, I want to pray for you to have a baby. And uh, he comes back to us and he says, if you like, uh, we'll, we'll come onto our knees and, and we'll pray to God for you to have a baby. So he puts his hands on me and Bethany both and uh, he gives us some ins some instructions on how we can do a better job of, uh, of having a baby. And, uh, and that he's hoping that we'll have one uh, pretty soon. So uh, our trip to Haiti, hopefully uh, next year will include a uh, third person in it. The next year will include a uh, third person in it. The next year will include a uh, third person in it. All thanks to uh, to Pastor Felbert. Big shout out, Pastor Felbert. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.